Hey, what's going on? My name's Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media. Today on Buff Basics, I'm going to talk about flash duration, a little about what it is, and how you can utilize it to freeze motion. Before we get started, I know there's a lot of new photographers out there that have asked a question about whether or not they need a light that has high speed sync. Yes, high speed sync can make situations more convenient sometimes, but I've personally never run into a situation where I've absolutely needed it. In this series, I'm going to show you a few ways to get around high speed sync in a situation where you think you might need it. To easily explain flash duration, it's the amount of time from when the flash fires to when it's completely turned off. Think about a light bulb, when you turn it off, the filaments burn off slowly. The same thing happens in the flash tube, but it looks like it happens instantaneously, but the measurement of time from when it turns on to turns off, that's what flash duration is. Now that you understand what flash duration is, you're probably wondering how you can use it to freeze motion. In an environment where you can control the ambient light, your flash duration can act as your shutter speed. So a short flash duration is very similar to a fast shutter speed. To demonstrate how flash duration works, I decided to bring my dog's bath time into the studio. For this shoot, I used two Einsteins, both set to action mode to allow for a shorter flash duration and a whole lot of plastic to make sure nothing got wet. Depending on the environment you're shooting in, just putting your Einstein in action mode may not be the last step into achieving your desired effect. Another important variable is how much ambient light is affecting your exposure. To set my camera up for this shot, I have my ISO at 100, my shutter speed at 250th of a second, which is my camera's sync speed. Then I had to adjust my aperture to control the ambient light. So to do this, I turned off my flash units and took a series of test shots and adjusted my aperture until the ambient light was no longer affecting my exposure. In my case, I landed on F8. Once I had my camera settings where I needed them, I turned my flashes back on and adjusted my light setup. My key light for this shot was an Einstein with a silver beauty dish and a 30 degree grid, and my backlight was another Einstein with a 7 inch reflector and a 20 degree grid. Once I positioned my lights to where I wanted them, I made sure both units were in action mode, and then I adjusted the power to get the correct exposure. As you decrease the output of the power on the Einstein while it's in action mode, the flash duration gets shorter. At the lowest power, the flash duration is 1 13,500th of a second. In my case, that wasn't quite enough light, so I increased the power, but I was still able to freeze the motion of the water at the power output I had. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And make sure you follow Paul C. Buff on Instagram at Paul C. Buff Inc. And if you want to see any of my work, be sure to follow me as well at Ready Light Media. Have a great day.